Hi again everybody, this is Monday, um, the last day of April, and for those of you that seen my little um, video clip on Bell's Palsy, I told you that I would be um, talking to you about trigeminal neuralgia, which is another um, uh, thing that I have along top of the Bell's Palsy. Uh, trigeminal neuralgia, for those of you that don't know, um, there's three trigeminal nerves in your brain. Um, and uh, trigeminal neuralgia is a pain that is described by doctors among the most acute known to mankind. Um, they call it trigeminal neuralgia, TN for short. Um, it produces excruciating lightning strikes of facial pain facial and in your head. Um, they say it's usually near your nose, your lips, your eyes, or your ears. Um, but it's also, you know, this part of your head, the back part of your head. You can even go down your neck, the side of your face. Um, Trigeminal neuralgia is a disorder of the fifth cranial nerve that causes the episodes of intense stabbing electric shock like pain areas of the face where the branches of the nerves are distributed like your lips, your nose, your, scalp, your scalp, your forehead, your upper jaw, and your lower jaw. Um, many people, doctors included, call it the suicide disease because the pain is so excruciating that you want to kill yourself. And th this is not funny. This is not a joke. I'm not kidding about this. This is serious. Um, a less common form of the disorder is called atypical trigeminal neuralgia. Um, it's not as intense pain, uh, however that's not what I had, um, but it is a constant dull kind of pain, burning, aching. Um, sometimes it has the occasional lightning strikes that I was talking to you about just a second ago um, in your head, but it's not as, as bad. Um, both forms of, of trigeminal neuralgia um, affect only one side of the face. Sometimes you can get it on both sides, but that's highly unlikely. Um, most people get this um, symptoms of this in their 50s, but even some kids and infants, children and infants, have had it. Um, Anything can trigger it. Um, something like brushing your teeth, um, eating, if you wear makeup, putting on makeup, a slight cold breeze, any kind of, you know, uh, warm or cold breeze can trigger a, a trigeminal attack. Um, it's not fatal by any means, but it is considered to be the most painful affliction known to medical practice. Um, Usually what the doctors will give you is something called, which is what I'm taking, Neurontin, or something called Tegretol. I have not tried the Tegretol. I don't know if it works. The Neurontin seems to work pretty good for me. Um, there's really not a whole lot you can do for it. Um, I have, I'm on, uh, if your pain's too excruciating, uh, they will give you uh, like a Vicodin, which I take Vicodin every once in a while, not too often because I don't want to get my, my system used to, to it and then it not help me at all when I really need it. So you want to be careful with, with how much, you know, pain medicine you take for it. Um, some people have tried acupuncture. Um, um, self hypnosis, you know, meditation. I don't know about any of that. All I know is that it's a lot of pain, and if you take your your, your medicine they give you, you can control it. Um, I've never felt any pain like this, and um, unless you have ever experienced, you can't really explain it. Um, I, when I first got it, it was like, you know, like I said, the lightning strikes. It felt like you was being struck in the head here, punched in the face here, and being stabbed in the neck. 
all at the same time. So it's it's not it's not a fun thing at all by no means. But if you want to learn more about Trigema neuralgia, um, go to www. T as in trigeminal, N as in neuralgia, A as in apple, dash support dot O-R-G. Um, there will be um, some links there you can click on and it will tell you all that you need to know about trigeminal neuralgia and it will actually show you a picture of the, the brain and the nerves and where they go so well that's my little lesson on trigeminal neuralgia today um, we, I did Bell's palsy last week and probably in a couple of days I'm going to do bipolar disorder I suffer from bipolar disorder and that's that's another one that's pretty common I didn't think it, it used to be called manic depression but um, but it's, it's pretty common now I've noticed that you know I, I know so many people that have been diagnosed as it so I don't know if, the, if it's people is just being diagnosed and they're not really or if it really just is something that you know a lot of people really suffer from so that's it for today until next time I will see you then ciao